All right, it is 7.30 in the morning and I just put in the GPS for south of the border. So the first stop of the day is going to be heading to Hamer, South Carolina, where I will visit Pedro and all of his friends at south of the border. Silver SUV has been riding on that line like that for miles now. Hey, made it back into his lane. I guess he really had no choice. Hey, he's back over the line. Status update. Anti-lane driver. I see a sombrero in the distance. I think it's Pedro's. Oh, I've made it south of the border. Pulling up the car. I just had to show this. Three ninety nine a gallon. Cheapest gas I've seen yet on the road. Big old fireworks sign there. There's the RV camping. Nice Corvette. You can eat, get gas, get fireworks, get whatever you want around here. All right, just made my way over to the other side. Oh, wow. The elevator is working. Huh. take an elevator to the top of that sombrero like a lookout over here I got that walkway to get you from each side giant gorilla remember when we came here when we were little my sister called this the Epcot ball I believe that's where the motel is go in this store and see what they got in here and maybe go see how much it is to go up in that elevator all right four bucks I get to ride the elevator to the top and I can walk around in the sombrero got my ticket no smoking or eating or drinking in the elevator she said it hasn't been back open for that long
Wow, this is awesome. I'm at the top of the Sombrero at south of the border. This thing hasn't been opened back up for that long. A couple months, he said. I know it's been down for years, but here I am at the top. I can stay up here for as long as I want. All I gotta do is hit the button when I'm ready to come down. So let's see. I was in those shops over there. Look, we're higher than the water tower. This is pretty cool. Cars parked down there. Got these viewfinders. really see how vast and expansive this property is there's like the motor lodge there's a pool over there oh there's the little carnival amusement park area I don't think any of that stuff's working right now here's a little more motel area and I was just in that shop. So cool. like a little miniature golf course over there too. We're at the top of the sombrero, it's south of the border. The elevator to the top. So cool. Weather's nice. It's 1014. And it is 75 degrees. I was just at the top of that sombrero. I was literally walking around in that sombrero. Now there's other people up there. Pretty cool. Four dollars to get up there. You could spend as much time as you wanted up there. So I did that. Picked up some bumper stickers. I already put one on the car. Picked up a magnet. This was $2.95. These were five cents each. And picked up some postcards. These are vintage. These are what it used to, I guess, when it opened. You can just tell these are like retro. These are 10 cents each. And there's the sombrero. Cool. All right. It is almost 1030. I think I've had enough of south of the border for now. Up next, Bucky's. Made it to Bucky's in Florence, South Carolina. I'm gonna say hi to the beaver himself. Zipper. All right, back in the car after a stop in Bucky's. Place is definitely not for the faint of heart. Very busy in there, especially the food section. But I picked up a coffee, 
I picked up a, I was surprised to find that they actually had a veggie burrito. They're so meat based in there. But I got a veggie burrito, some beaver nuggets, and uh, a cup of uh, grapes for the road. So definitely an interesting place. Love Bucky's. It's huge. Um, it was just way too crowded to even try to film in there. So got a quick glimpse at some of the plushes, but that's about it. There's just too many people. Everybody's up and everybody's shoulder to shoulder in there. All right, going to eat some lunch, head back out onto the road. All right, this thing was a pain in the butt to find. I went to three different locations until I finally tracked it down. It's on the side of the road here. It is pouring rain again. But in 1958, they accidentally dropped an atomic bomb near here. It did not detonate. Oh wait, no. It's high explosive trigger detonated on impact, making a crater as large as 35 feet deep and 70 feet wide. The atomic part didn't detonate, I know that. The bomb landed in the woods behind the asbestos shingle-sided home of railroad conductor Walter Bill Gregg. And his wife, their three children, and a niece were injured by the concussion, which destroyed the house and outbuildings and did slight damage to buildings within a five-mile radius. Wow. Around here somewhere is the crater, but it's on private property, so I'm not going to be able to see that. In more rain, and of course more traffic. On my way to Savannah. Currently quarter to two. 704 miles into this road trip, and about 78 miles until Savannah. Other than that, roads have been pretty smooth otherwise. And I'll take this rain over the rain I had yesterday. Pretty cool bridge we're going to be going over going into Georgia. Current time is 3.21. Georgia State Line right there. made it into a bucket list item, the Savannah History Museum. I get to see the Forrest Gump bench from the movie. There's some really cool stuff in here though. Oh my God. Here it is. The bench from the movie. So cool. All right, so I don't think it's the actual bench from the movie. It says this was a couple of the duplicates, or a couple duplicates were made from the original cast made for the film, the mold. And this is one of the duplicates, and it was given to the Savannah History Museum by Paramount Studios. That is so cool.
Now there's so many exhibits in here, it's a shame. I came in right before closing, so it's normally a $10 fee to get in. But she's like, ah, oh, just put a couple bucks in the donation thing because we're about to close. I was like, perfect. I just really wanted to see the bench. Look at this. Look at this. It's amazing. But I don't want to be that person holding them up and close them down. So I'm going to get on out of here. All right, I'd weighed out a storm. But I'm glad I did because I did a little further research and I was going to go to the wrong side of this. And I'm glad I got to do my research because now I'm coming up to the true Forrest Gump filming location where they had the bench. There it is, right there. Right there. Wherever this Chippewa Square sign is. See that statue in the background? Right in here is where they had the bench for filming. The feather comes down from here, lands at his feet. Boom, right here. Far Scump filming location. I do have a picture on my phone. Here it is, right here. Definitely knocked that one off my bucket list. Worth waiting for during that storm. Massive storm. Forest Gump filming location right there. Beautiful around here. Welcome to Florida. All right, I made it into Florida. After 976 miles on the road overall and just shy of 19 hours total, it's 8 o'clock. I've been on the road since 7.30 this morning and it is time to check into another hotel. So I'm at a Fairfield for the night and uh, Officially done with the road trip. Tomorrow, I'll drive two hours in. Right now, I'm in St. Augustine, so I'll drive two hours in and finish the drive to Disney, and then I can relax. So, that's a long road trip, split up over a couple of days because I wanted to go visit, you know, the Forest Gump stuff and some other stuff along the way. So, all right, let's check out what this hotel looks like. All right, all checked into the room. Uh, nice little room. Give you a little tour as soon as you come in the door you got the bathroom right off to the right what with the double two doubles and that's all i need just a place to sleep for the night very high ceiling in here though very high ceiling. all right that's it for tonight off to disney tomorrow